All right, what you see here is a Hunter Infinity ceiling fan installed in my living room. I figured I'd show it on a reverse setting because I actually never did show this, the Panama 2 and the Low Profile Plus on reverse when I installed them. And I did say I was going to do a separate video of them on reverse and I forgot about that completely until recently, so I figured I might as well go ahead and do that now. This fan out of the four installed in the upstairs level during the fall and winter time probably gets used the least in the sense of like the combined hours and such. Oh, well, probably this on the bathroom dressing room are probably the two that get used the least. Though, it really does depend how busy I am. If I'm really busy, like with work and school work, again, I'm not in the living room much. But um, the one that gets used the most is definitely the kitchen one. This one, probably more than my bedroom one and then this or the bathroom dressing room. But, um, yeah, in the summertime, this one does, definitely gets used the most for the question. This and the, ba the bedroom one. But, um, yeah, definitely is holding up pretty well as I've installed it. It definitely goes pretty well with the living room setup. Hence the reason why I swapped out the bright brass one with the black one here. The same exact fan, same exact spotlight, and everything, just in a black finish instead. I read it, it's I've always like the black and rosewood combination. It's a very contemporary looking fan from the 90s. And, and I have thought about putting a different fan here, the Hermosa. But I really just like the look of this fan more, especially because the Hermosa kind of looks... Despite it being in the same finish, the rosewood is more reddish looking, whereas the rosewood on this fan is more, it's in that red looking, so it matches the furniture in here better, but also the vents you see on this are more, it's something that you can see on fans still nowadays, whereas the vents on the, mostly give it more of a dated look, I think. Plus it has a very 90s look to it, this one does too, but it's very unique, I feel like in some ways it kind of does look like a fan from today's standards in some ways. Due to like the shape of it and such. Just like maybe 10 years old at most. Like compared to like today's standards and such. Design wise that is. But um yeah. <clears throat> there goes the white. I, re I really do use the white on this fan. I usually only use it for homework. Or if I'm filming videos of the of the record player and such, taking pictures of albums. But um, I figure I'd just keep it on and just, one for the looks and two, for when I do need lighting also, I use it more for, I usually just use it for homework if I'm here at night that way. I don't, without well, the whole room, I can just point everything straight down. Or if I only just need one light in a corner, I'll use that. But I do also feel that it, Spotlights look the best on Infinities as well. Really complements the contemporary look. It also gives it more of an artistic look too, I think. So I'm going to see like in the art gallery. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start off on the reverse. Now, the fans of, all the fans I have installed, this one definitely has the longest spin down. So... Yeah, and the fan is from, I think it's either the first or second quarter of 1993. So it is the oldest one installed as well. Despite it not looking to be the oldest. But I mean, I could put the Hermosa here. I just, it'd really be for the airflow. I'd put it up more, but... I'm not really home much in this when it's hot out. Plus we have the AC, I have the Hunter Rockefeller in the corner. And I do have another fan, the kitchen fan that I use with the AC as well. So this area stays pretty cool. Main reason why I had thought about taking this down is due to the blades warping and such. But that's actually the main reason why I don't want to put the Hermosa up because the blades on that are new in the box. And since I live not even 10 minutes away from the ocean, not like a big, not like a beach, but like this close to the ocean in general. Um, I know it would cause them to warp more, and I really don't want those blades to warp. 
S battery as the other pins I've installed here have. So I'd rather just reserve those for when I move out of here and use them now. Of course, I like to do Welcome to the Infinity more than the Hermosa too. That's, that's the other reason. Plus, it's more of a childhood fan. Hermosa is kind of a childhood fan in the sense, like the design of it. But uh, it's, I have always liked Infinities as a kid, so I figured I'd keep up the fan. That's more of a childhood one. Plus, it works well. Before, moves a good enough of, amount of air for me. So, I know I was like starting to have issues when I would take it down for the the other one, but I can fix this easily. Motor swap, switch housings, swap out the capacitors and all that with another infinity or something. So it's a re this one is kind of the other reason why I keep this infinity here because so I can always part out the other ones to steal parts from the other ones to use on this. <clears throat> Whereas console models are a little bit more complicated in some ways when it comes to repairing those. Parts like the pull chains, reverse switches, and such. Whereas the Hunter ones, you can just part out the switch housing, basically take out the shell and just swap the parts from another one. Or from the Infinity type ones, that is, not like the ones on the passports. Same thing with like the one in the low profile in the kitchen, it's kind of the same concept. Which is actually the main reason why I actually put up these two for that reason. But also it's just because I'd rather have a fan in the front area that's not as powerful as the bedroom one, which is the Panama two. Nah, and my mom's afraid of fans that go extremely fast like the Casablanca would, so that's the main reason why I don't have a Casablanca in the living room. But when I get my own place or whenever she moves out, that would change, but the Infinity does do a good enough job in the living room. I think it has more of a sleek design than the Hermosa, which is the main thing I want for the living room. Something has a very nice, sleek, contemporary design. <clears throat> Not from medium. And yeah, for those wondering, those pull chains that I did get from Home Depot, now they did not come with a black ring around it. It's the Rosewood looking one with the anti brass ring. I just got a sharpie and cut it in black. This so they match the fan better. But yeah, now if like the if the Hermosa had like different vents on that, I'd consider putting it here. But it's really the vents I like on the Infinity more. As a kid, I saw a lot more fans with these type of vents or spotlights compared to the Hermosa events. That or standard Panama type of vents too. But also I figured I'd have something that the vents match kitchen fans since both this and the Infinity, not um, both this and the Little Profile Plus had the same vents in a sense. So at least they kind of correlate in some ways. That and it kind of makes them look not that much difference in the age as well. But even though this fan is basically 10 years older than the low profile in the kitchen. But also, I think, I don't know, I just like the infinity in here very well. My film not that dated looking. If it was a little bit dated looking, more dated looking than it is and such, I'd consider it Hermosa. But it's just really, I'd rather save the Hermosa for when I get my own place and swap out this one to give it a break. And then, that, and I feel like my mom would definitely notice the difference when seeing the Hermosa going faster than this one. As it's already been up for almost two years now, so I think she would notice. Even though the finish is basically the same, she has kind of noticed some differences with fans like when I swapped out parts on them and such. So I don't want to take the risk. I did tell I wouldn't swap out any other ones until we moved out. But the main thing is I really don't want her breaking the black K4B on her, that I'd put on it because with the ceilings being a little bit low here somewhat, 
in terms of like the white kit. I could already see her damaging it. So whereas this is just a white spotlight that was painted black. It's more the spotlight I don't want her damaging on it. Plus the spotlight's not in the best condition compared to this one anyways. So it's just more to preserve from the spotlight if anything. For fills in my bedroom, that's a different story, but no main area they're more just, they're more easier to get damaged by my mom and such. When she like sweeps and mops, she likes to wave raise the stick up a lot for some reason. Not sure why, but yeah. Well, um, yeah, there it is on high school. And also I did forget to show there's the country logo on that side there. But for some reason, um more recently this the light kit has been moving a lot on its own if it's on the high speed. Whereas it didn't really it would kind of walk, shake around a little bit, but now it's been turning on its own. Whereas it didn't do that before. I'm wondering if it's because of the blades are warping more so it makes it kind of try to wobble a bit. Hence why the white can't move, move like this. <clears throat> Probably will need to like take it down or something. If I can get it away so it doesn't move. Yeah. Should be fine like that. Might have to just get two small screws and screw it into the holes on the switch housing. Has a little bit of a hum to it, which I'm not surprised. The brass one and the white one that used to be in my room, they had a bit of a hum to them on high speed. In fact, even the panel in my bedroom has a hum to it as well. On the high speed, that is not on the other speeds, but it's nothing noticeable though. But yeah, definitely moves a lot of it on reverse. One thing is, it's never done that when I have it running on the high speed of down draft, so I find that very interesting that it's doing it now. That's on reverse. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Not sure of the plate. Alright, let me go ahead and shut it off. I'm just gonna kill it, the power to it by the switch instead of going there to shut it off. That's gonna have my couch in front of me and I had to go. Let me throw the show right here. I had to go around there and do it. So if I wanted to save time, just shut it off there. Yeah, spin down on this is at least a good few minutes. Um, the brass affinity just didn't have that one with spin down, neither did the white one. However, this one's bearings are somewhat noisy. It's making that, that like ticking sound that some Hunter fans can make over time. That's some more on a low speed if, and medium, if anything. High speed, it, you don't even hear it due to the air movement. No, it's, but it's in the living room, so I don't really mind it much. If it was in the bedroom, that'd be a different story. I could always just swap it out with, the, with another Infinity motor. So it wouldn't make that sound. But the bearings on this one definitely seem to be in the best condition out of all of them, so. Doesn't really, so kind of difficult situation there in a sense. I 
But yeah, a lot of people have really complimented on this fan when I swapped out the brass one for this one. Especially with it matching the whipping room a lot better. And a lot of people don't really, well, nowadays you see a lot more black fans, but like back in the day, like the 90s and 2000s, you would see some people with black fans, but not as much compared to other fans, like a white fan or something. And a lot of the black fans are just more the standard looking ones, whereas unique looking ones like these you wouldn't see as often. So, especially with the wood blades, so it's definitely an interesting combination. A lot of times you see just plain black fans, like, today, for example, so. But also just a very unique looking fan, too. And in ways, I do find it more unique looking than in Hermosa, which is why, like, I'd rather have this up, too. Despite it not being as powerful. But this area doesn't really get too hot in the summer, so. So it's my bedroom, that's a different story, but. I'd rather have the brush knuckle fan in there and a black fan up front. Since it matches better. And yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.